All right, what's up party people in the place to be? I'm out here on the real easy rider, day one. Um, did a few ollies, kind of warming up around on the turns. These ventures feel better than the last ones I rode. Um, maybe because they're a little lighter. Um, so yeah, they're turning a little bit better than the last ventures that I had. So I'm starting to enjoy them just rolling around, but ollies on this, I'm getting used to. I'm popping it up. The other thing I'm dealing with is still some pretty intense Achilles pain. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to like put this board through its paces today. I might take it a little easy and just do some regular stuff, but you know I gotta hit that nollie flip and maybe a crooked grind or two. But yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. Um, I guess let's roll some park footage and then I'll tell you what else I think about it. All right, warmed up with um, some 50-50s. So, so far, the trucks feel good. I'm actually really surprised. I went into these ventures kind of really doubting them, but for grinding, they're going really well. And I actually like that I've been riding the nine inch um, Ace 66 AF1s and they're so wide that doing ledge tricks, it feels like I don't I don't know the word for it. Maybe it's maybe I don't feel as stable, but on a smaller truck, weirdly I feel stable. It could be new truck um happiness. Does anyone ever feel like this? So I'm at the skate park, it's like early morning. And when you're filming by yourself, everyone likes to like it feels like every once in a while you get someone who's like, ooh, what are they doing? What are they doing? And it kind of makes me all sheepish. Anyways, uh gonna go with the kick flip and the nollie flip first try, just knock it out and see what happens. I predict kickflip will be a no-show and nolly flip will be first try. Uh, we'll see. All right, first kickflip. Oh. Uh, so far, not good. Uh, it felt really good, but nowhere near where I wanted to land. Um, I'll do it again after this nolly flip. So I guess both first try were a no-go. I'm gonna attribute that to new shoes, new grip, new board, new setup. Um, and I'll try again, let's do it second try. I'll try the kick flip, then I'll try the nollie flip. I will say that the pop on the nollie flip felt really good. It feels like the nose is hitting earlier. It feels like the nose is hitting earlier on this setup than it does on my other setup. So might as well try again. So my kick flips have been doing that lately where they like shoot into the ground. Um, I'm not really sure why that is. I'll have to adjust that. I don't really know why that's happening. Um, all right, nollie flip. Kick flip felt good though. The nollie flip feels really good, but I'm not landing it, which is weird for me. Ooh. All right, so the nollie flip felt really good. Third try nollie flip, not so bad. Um, I would have loved a first try nollie flip, but third try is good and it felt really good. Um, this board right off the bat feels very responsive. Like I don't have to put in a ton of effort to get some tricks going, which on my last board, it felt like the extra effort was needed. So maybe I'll stick with this setup. Um, I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So far, so good. I like that seven inch nose is really nice. It like taps the ground really quick and um, since I'm not like a high popper anymore, uh, I feel like those days aren't gone forever, but um, you know, when you eat a lot of pizza and you have ice cream with your grandma every night, it kinda, the high popping days get, get swiftly in the rear view mirror. Anyways, so far so good. I like the quickness of the pop. It's feeling really good. Let's uh, try some more. My kickflip was a little better. Did you see me catch my headphones? Circus tricks. My front side pop shove it on this board feels really good. One thing I am really interested in with this setup is the pinch. Um, on my last setup, the 66 AF1s, the aces I was riding, had a great pinch for crooked grinds. Um, you can see it in my slappies. I could just hold that thing forever. So we're gonna do some crooked grinds and, um, or I should say, I'm gonna do some crooked grinds and see how the pinch feels. I just wanna make sure I have it in me to get into it still. 
These first two tries are in no way indicative of this board. It's solely on me. I am um, way out of shape and skiing a ledge is a lot harder than slappies. Finding the pinch point on these trucks is really different from the ace. Um, what I'm finding I'm doing when I'm getting into it is I notice I'm leaning way far forward. And I think that's because I'm so used to slappy crooked grinds where you bash the curb into that crooked grind and you lean so far forward on that crooked grind to get that like slap going that now when I'm trying to ollie into it, I'm realizing I gotta be a little bit lighter and pull back a little bit, lean this way more. Um, I think there's two reasons for that. One, I'm not just riding into it full speed very confidently with those slappy crooks but also um, since I have to put the board on top I'm pushing a lot of energy into that front end and if I hit this really hard I'm noticing I'm falling forward That was awful. I think I figured out where the pinch point is on this uh, truck and this board. It's a little more, hmm, how do I explain it? With the Ace, it felt like it was more like this. Let's see if we can show it. Like fully crooked. It's barely got the wheel on there. It's just locked in and you're going wild. Whereas with this, um, truck, the Venture, it feels like it's more at about this angle. With this Venture though, it feels like the pinch point is like more at this angle. So the Ace I feel like is about here, the Venture is about here. So that's going to take some time to get used to. One trick I really wanted to see how it felt on this setup since it's a little bit smaller than my last one was a 360 flip. So I don't know if today is the best day to try it because my body's just not cooperating as much as I would like it to. Um, but might as well give it a shot. I don't know what the weather will be like tomorrow. So 360 blip. First try, no way. So something just went wrong with my camera and I don't know if I got that 360 flip. But a few of the 360 flips felt really good. Like it felt like it was popping like really high. Um, which I liked because it didn't feel like I had to do a lot of like extra effort to get it higher. It felt like it naturally lifted higher. So that's something I'm noticing about the Ventures with this um, board is that it's a little bit easier to pop and flick the way I want it to flick. It felt like it's easier to pop the 360 flip on this. It felt like I can pop it higher with less effort. Now that might not come across in the video because like I said, I have put on some significant weight since, um, you know, life happened. But, you know, I think for a 360 flip, this board feels really good, which I like because 360 flip is kind of like the magic trick for me. I feel like when I learned it, it was like super exciting and I had a really good one. And I've always just wanted to keep a few tricks over my lifespan. And 360 flip is in that bag along with Nolly flip. And the 360 flip feels really good. Um, maybe try a few more and see if I can get a little more loose, see if my ankle loosens up a bit. So far, so good. What a pathetic showing that was. It wasn't the board, that was definitely me. In the beginning, my... Um, Achilles was really tight trying, but then as we kept going, it loosened up. Then I just couldn't find the flick point. So, but I got it. I don't think it looked very good. I have almost zero faith in that nollie heel flip, but the 360 flip felt great. Um, I think we're gonna call it for park footage because we got some scooters showing up. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll go spot hunting right now. What's up? Uh, we're back. Hey, uh, I just found this ledge here. It's at a spot I used to skate like 15 years ago. It's really chunky now, but the building that it's at is now out of business. So check it out. But there's like a really good angled edge one right here. It's a little bit smaller. 
I might do some work to it today. Um, get it cleaned up and skate it. Let's see uh, how this ledge does for some 50-50s. I'm excited to try out these ventures on a chunky ledge. They look like they'd feel really good um, tearing into that chunk. Bear with me as I warm back up and uh, I haven't skated a street ledge in a long time. I'd say maybe three, four years uh, since I felt really comfortable on one. I don't know why, um, just because I probably do a lot of slappies and injuries and stuff like that. So bear with me as I warm back up into this. Hey, 50-50 wasn't too bad. That felt pretty good. I could feel all the chunks on the ledge. It's kind of nice after skating that perfect skate park ledge. It's kind of nice to feel a little texture under my truck. Um, maybe a couple K-grinds, see how that goes. Uh, let's try a Krusty Crooks. I think that might be too many crooks for one video, right? So let's move on from the crooks. I got one, kind of popped out, kind of fell out, subjective. Uh, I found this little wall ride that looks fun. Check it out. It's like just steep enough that I would call it a wall ride. Let's take it from a side view. I'm gonna give this a few roll-ups. I'm gonna sweep up real quick because, I don't know. Hitting a rock is like a day ender. Like the older I get and like the harder it is to skate, hitting a rock is like, it like falling like that can just like, I'm done. I'm over it at that point. So I'm gonna sweep up and then we'll get to it. All right, swept it up. Get ready for the wimpiest wall ride of your life. Ah, was I as low as I think I was? I was like right here, right? Ooh. I'll take it. Sometimes you just take what feels good. I guess that's kind of the end of the video. Um, yeah, Ben's board is really cool. I like it a lot. Now that I've skated like some street spots with it, it's starting to grow on me. I think at first I was a little bit like, um, thrown by uh, coming from the aces to the venture, how stiff uh, the trucks felt. But as I've been skating them, they're actually starting to feel a lot better. And um, I might skate them for a while and see how I feel. I'll just take them all the way down to the axle and then I'll decide from there. How else would I make a decision without taking them to the axle? Anyways, just to round up my thoughts on the Easy Rider Oval from Real and Ben DeGrosse, I like it. I actually really like the nose. The nose on this board might be my most favorite thing. It's big, it's blunt, and it's got like a really, really flat rocker. Um, the mellow concave is nice, very reminiscent of skateboards I used to skate when I was a kid. So I really like that feeling. And even though I'm coming from skating nine and a half, nines, eight and a half, dancing all over the place the last few years, the eight and a quarter doesn't feel too small, but it feels small enough that it's easier to flick. The 360 flip felt really good. I think that's going to be nice. Once my Achilles starts feeling a little better, um, maybe do a little rehab on it. I'm looking forward to like flicking this board around a lot. Um, as far as street skating, I had more success on this than I did on my slappy board. My slappy board, the trucks are so loose and the board is so big and it's like that a lot of times street skating on something that's like so squirrely like that um, makes it a little difficult. Whereas this, like this has enough control that street skating today has felt really good. Um, other than that, yeah, I think this board is a huge success. I like the trucks. I like the board. Um, the board feels really good. And yeah, I don't think you can really go wrong, especially if you really want to size down from a bigger board. This is a good compromise. Feels good. It feels a little more relaxed, easy on the ankles and um, easy to control. Uh, that wall ride well, let's put wall ride in quotes, right? Because it's kind of, you know, at an angle. So we'll wall ride in quotes. But the wall ride felt really good on this board. And I think it came a lot easier riding this than it would have 
riding my slappy board that I've been skating a lot recently. At the end of this, this board's lifespan, I'll give like a, a final review. But right now, first impressions, love it. Feels really good. Good job, Real. Good job, Ben. Definitely a good feeling board. And um, I'll talk to you next time. Until then, hug your loved ones. Pet your animals. Love them too. Skate a curb. Skate some flat. And um, I don't know. Sub a meal out for a smoothie, like a protein smoothie. That's what I'm trying to do. Until next time.